for this job, like a week ago. So. Gotcha. <laughs> um, so, I mean, Mason's new, uh, Tackett's new. What have the new guys shown you so far uh, in the linebacker room? Uh, I say what I've seen from Mason Tack is just really uh, an eagerness to learn and get accustomed to our system, and really just to um, join the guys and like just become you know one of the guys as, as fast as possible, especially when they first got here. And ever since then, it's just kind of been an uphill climb as to learning the plays and developing as individuals and collectively. Do you feel like this year's linebacker unit is a little bit deeper than it was a year ago? I definitely think we're a lot uh, deeper than we were last year. Just with, How helpful is that? Oh, I mean, that's everything. You know, depth in this game, you know, football's 100% injury. And you never wish injury on anybody, but you know, it's bound to happen. So you definitely need guys that can uh, back you up and um, really just learn from, you know, having, having more guys is just another opportunity to learn from somebody who plays a game a different way than you do, sees a game a different way than you do, and just, you know, have constant dialogue as to, you know, different things that go on. With Eric being back now, is it like getting a, I mean, I know he was there last year, but is it like getting a new guy after he wasn't there for spring practice? What's it been like having Eric back? Um, you know, he wasn't on the field, but he never really left. Like, he was always there. He's always, um, like I said, that dialogue is huge, you know, just telling us what you see, you know, from the outside perspective, you know, during the spring, he couldn't be on the field. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't think, I felt like he left. I feel like he was always a part of us, and he did a great job of being active, even though he couldn't physically be out there during the spring. Yeah, you were a guy who, I mean, obviously you played a lot of college football, but here at Alabama, you got your degree, you won a national championship. What was it that motivated you to come back to your final year? Um, really just eager to continue what we've started here. I know last year was a really, really special year. Like, um, I never really felt like anything like we had last year. And so I just wanted to come back and build. And, um, you know, that was one of the things that I came here for was to, help build a championship culture, a winning, a winning culture. And so uh, I just had another opportunity to do that and I wanted to take advantage of it. You mentioned that feeling you had last year. Can you elaborate on that a little bit? What what makes USC such a special place in your eyes? Um, I think it's really just a commitment to excellence, you know, overall and you know, academically, it's, you know, top institution. Um, everybody you're around is, you know, the best at what they do in the classroom and on the field. My other sports are, you know, winning national championships. And so last year, you know, you bring a whole bunch of guys together, you know, pretty quickly and you set a goal to do something, you know, a big goal, no, no small feat. And so we kind of just bonded over that. It was a, it was just a unique, unique year. So. Hey, what's going on? Um, you know, what are the challenges of, I guess, what are the advantages of coming back the second year and having that built-in experience of dealing with getting a group together that came from a bunch of different spots. And this year you have some transfers as well, especially defensively. What are the challenges and what are the advantages of already having one year kind of under your belt when it comes to that? Um, I mean, so the advantage is that like you've been there before and you know you, you have some familiarity with what you might go through. The challenge is that um, when you still have guys coming from different places and even with the guys who have been different places before that came last year, you got guys that are, uh, are everybody wasn't you know brought up through the same thing. And so everybody's coming from something different. Everybody's used to something different. Uh, and I think that's probably the biggest challenge is uh, how can we all get on the same page you know, as fast as possible? And not just get on the same page, but how can everybody understand that you know your job is important and everybody's job is just as important and it's it's important that we do it this way because that's what this defense does so i just think when you got a bunch of guys coming from all over the place uh, like that's the biggest thing you got to get how, how much can you improve when you're also having to deal with that i'm sorry like what do you mean by that? like given that you, you're dealing with you know trying to bring everybody else mm -hmm. together like but you're also trying to improve from last year like how, how much can you actually you know improve on that? oh um I mean, you can improve as much as people take to the that task, you know? Like, I don't think there's a limit or, a, you know, it's not like a hard or easy thing to do. I think it just depends on the people that you have and uh, the effectiveness of trying to get everybody on the same page. Jalen was talking about communication being something that has been really big um, so far, you know, leading up to the season. Uh, you have, obviously, a leadership role in the defense. What? What's been the pressure or challenge, right, for you, or to, to, to kind of get everybody you know, on the same page? Like, what's it what's it look like for you uh, on a day to day basis for your? Um, day to day, it's, it's really just 
creating those relationships with the guys in the locker room and in the weight room and any other place that you are together. Um, you know, building that trust because like when you're on the field and you, know, you look to your left or you look behind you and you need a call or you're trying to give a call, like uh, having that rapport just helps that much more. Or you know, if you have to get on a guy or a guy has to get on me, like it's easier to do that when you know we've, we've gone to dinner and like we've hung out outside. So um, I think that's probably the the way that I try to go about it is just creating relationships outside of this building and uh, the sport itself. Coach, there's certainly been a bit of like external criticism of the defense over the offseason. Do you guys kind of use that as motivation? Or always kind of focus on your uh, Personally, I don't really like look at that too much. I just focus on what we have to do and what you know, we deem that we needed to improve on. So, um, yeah, that's really just the goal is just to improve and you know be our best self. So not really looking at what anybody else is. How challenging is it for you? You have so much experience, but some new linebackers have come in. You have to earn that spot again. How do you balance being a leader with fighting for your spot in, in that equation? It seems like uh, it might be a little bit of a challenge to, to still be the best leader you can be while you're also competing really hard against your teammates. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say it like a challenge, honestly. Uh, I'm going to be the same person I've always been. I'm going to work hard and I'm just going to be who I am. That leadership title, uh, for me, that's something I've never had to really change. I've never had to really be anybody different to accomplish that. That's just uh, something that's kind of come more naturally to me. And so I can just hang my hat on working hard and just being myself. Um, and if anything, it's just allowing myself to be more of myself, if that makes sense. Coach Munch, he did something this offseason that he hasn't done in 20 years, which is he went back and watched practice. Um, and then just to try to learn to see, like, what you guys can do differently. Did you, is that something that he, he's had any shared with some players and it's something that um, you got to see and what are some of the things you feel like can be improved um, from a practice standpoint? Um, I'm sure there's a bunch that could be uh, improved from a practice standpoint. I think, you know, just going back looking at practice, it's so beneficial just because you you know you see those habits that you know maybe at the beginning of the season weren't there that developed you know, after a certain point or uh, and that could be good or bad and so I guess just kind of going back and being able to look at the time and look at you know what was going on with the team and everything else and saying like okay well this was what helped was helping us you know we kind of got away from this and it started to hurt us um, and just kind of really being aware of how you're treating practice how you're looking at it and things like that so can definitely be a tool if you use it the right way.